Hello, 8th graders. Today we are going to talk about the first planet from the Sun, Mercury. Mercury is, um, again, our first planet. So it goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the asteroid belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. And many would think that because of that, it would be the hottest planet, but it is not. Venus is actually hotter than Mercury. And the reason for that is that Mercury has very little atmosphere. So if we think of Earth, Earth's atmosphere helps to regulate our heat, right? It traps heat in, it has the greenhouse effect, or it causes the greenhouse effect that keeps us warm enough for life as we know it to exist, right? And it also um, keeps heat from keeps heat from going out into space and it traps heat in. Well, if Mercury doesn't have that, then on Mercury, if you're facing the sun on the daytime part of Mercury, it's really, really hot because it doesn't have that shield. And if you're facing away from the sun, it's going to be really, really cold. Okay, so no atmosphere on Mercury. Another funky thing on Mercury, um, because there is no atmosphere, is the sky is black. Think about that. So you're standing here on Mercury and you look at the sun, the sun is still yellow in the sky, but it's against a black sky. Kind of like how it would be if you were on the moon, right? There's no atmosphere on the moon either. And so again, there's a lot of similarities there. On the moon, it's really, really hot if you are on the lit side of the moon and really, really cold if you are on the dark side of the moon. Okay, another similarity between Mercury and the moon is its um, surface. If you look here, it is covered in craters. Now we have craters here on Earth, but not nearly as many. And the reason for that is that our atmosphere protects us from things that come flying at us. Some things do actually make it to the ground, but most of it burns up in our atmosphere. Without an atmosphere, Mercury doesn't have a shield, and so anything that flies at Mercury is going to hit Mercury, kind of like the moon, right? The moon is covered in craters. Mercury is also covered in craters. Um, we have been able to take all of these great pictures of Mercury over the years with two different space probes that we've spent, sent up there. Space probes are not landers. They don't actually land down on the surface. They're like... They do flybys. They're sent up and they orbit around the planet and they do some low, low flying so that they can actually take these beautiful pictures and they can map out the surface of Mercury. Those two um, space probes were Messenger and the Mercury 10, or the Mariner 10, sorry, the Mariner 10. Okay, so we have all these great pictures of Mercury, um, but it is not a place that we have actually... Um, we've not gone there. We have not put a man on Mercury for several reasons. One, the trip there would be really, really long. And two, the temperatures aren't really conducive for us to just go there and hang out. Um, but we do have lots of information because of those space probes, okay? Uh, another unique, unique thing about Mercury is that it does not have any moons. It is one of two of our planets that don't have any moons. Um, Mercury and Venus both do not have any. Okay, so it says along with Venus, Earth, Mars, and Mercury is one of the rocky planets. So again, those inner planets that are nearest to the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are called terrestrial planets. They are rocky. Terrestrial means Earth-like, so you can actually stand on them. They are made of rock, okay, as opposed to the outer planets, which are gas giants, and they're primarily gas. The surface that we see of those outer planets is a very, very thick atmosphere. Okay, you can't stand on it. You would fall through into a small inner portion that is made of rock, but the bulk of the planet itself is made of gas, and that's not true here on the inner planets. The inner planets are much more Earth-like in that they are rocky and you can stand on them. Okay, so to review, Mercury is our smallest planet in our solar system. It is the closest planet to the sun. Its nearest other planet is, is Venus. That's the next one out. 
Um, it is really, really hot during the day and really, really cold at night. And speaking of days and nights, it rotates on its axis really, really slowly. Okay, so it takes 59 Earth days for Mercury to make one rotation on its axis. 59 Earth days. And then it takes 88 Earth days to make it all the way around the sun. Okay, so it was actually named after the messenger god because it's so swift. It revolves around the sun so quickly, but it rotates really, really slowly. So if you were on Mercury, you would have a birthday about every three months because it revolves around the sun that constitutes a year, right? Um, every 88 days, but it only rotates every 59 days. So there's like a day and a third in every year on Mercury. Okay. It is covered in craters like the moon because it does not have an atmosphere. So everything that flies at Mercury hits Mercury. Um, and that is about it for our... Um, quick lecture on Mercury. I'm going to post a couple little videos for you to gain a little bit more information. Then I want you to use this time to go to your flipbook or your science journal or your Google Slides or however it is that you are gathering information and keeping track of it. And I would like for you to write down some of these characteristics in your notes about Mercury. All right, I'll talk to you soon about Venus.